What's up, weirdos? Mammaries. I don't have them, but I know a lot about them. I know they look awesome, I know they make milk, and I know that generally it's not 30-year-old men who drink that milk. <laughs> when it's a humans, we'll guzzle down some cow milk, but this guy, Alexander Bailey, loves his wife's I don't want to say- Ah, this is so funny, this is so weird. He likes to take a sip of the old, uh, human leche. They have a TikTok account, and this is what they're famous for. Their bio says, breastfeeding couple. We wrote a book, Milk in It. It's really only 52 pages, so I guess their journey in- I don't want to do a charade of it, but like, like, something like that. They could only get to novella link with that story. But, they have done interviews, and they did a TV show where they did like a whole documentary-like interview about this. So we're gonna watch that and figure out what the hell is going on in the Bailey household. This is the first frame of the video. That's Alexander and Rachel and I gotta say don't look at me like that when the title of the video is I breastfeed my husband So what by the way? Yeah, what's so weird about that? Huh? I think it's the part of the sentence before the so what the part where you breastfeed your husband, but go ahead This is Rachel She fell in love with Alex Whilst most people only breastfeed their children, this couple do things a little differently. No. His head was rocking back forth. He was like, oh my God, this is so good. Dude, the split screen between her and her kid and her and her husband doing the same exact thing. There's no way that's okay. He was latched in. In TV shows, whenever a character gives birth, there's always like a thing of like, oh, they won't latch, they won't latch. Well, Alexander had no problem latching. I can tell you that much. I originally stuttered breastfeeding my husband Alex on a cruise years ago. I feel like uh, it's helped my immune system. Mm -hmm. I haven't really got sick in the past three years. <laughs> yes, you are. You might have not been coughing, but trust me, Alexander, you are a sick man for this. Dude, going on a cruise and then just popping the question of, hey, maybe I breastfeed. Dude, you are a sick man for that. Oh my God. So they said it helps my immune system. And that's where I want to come in with another interview they did and just provide a little bit of clarity. I don't see nothing wrong with breastfeeding my husband. I actually love the bond. It helps me out. He finishes off the job. A lot of people ask why I do it, why we do it. There's various reasons, but in all actuality there really is nothing wrong with it we have various reasons i'm not gonna get into any of them because they're all very weird and based on my husband wanting to suck my breast milk out. we have a variety of reasons but the point is why not i mean why not is just like because it's weird as hell there's nothing wrong with this that's why i love this video it's been too long since i've had a video where it's like nobody's doing anything wrong but it's just weird as hell i always like to make jokes that you know you can drink other milks out there because you're told to but when it's milk that you know is from a person you know it's a little weird or considered weird it does seem a little bit like he's just her baby who's way too big she's talking here the whole time yapping 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 his face is just <laughs> It's like he looks like a baby. Alexander, what's up, baby? Just sitting there while your wife is like, yeah, whatever, yeah, he's like, whoa, what? Cows make it, cows make it, I can make it too. We drink cows, we drink almonds. And the part where she's like, they tell you. You can drink other milks out there because you're told to. I like how she throws in that we can drink other milks because you're told to. Well, yeah, I don't think there's some conspiracy of like getting humans off of breast milk, but that's where these things kind of come from, of like, oh, there's actually secret hidden benefits that the government doesn't want you to know about. And they hinted at that when he was saying, I haven't been sick in three years. People who breastfeed still. They're like the same type of people who drink their own urine. Oh, should I make a video about that? That's so gross. But it's always like, it helps your immune system. Now let me just show you something real quick. This is an interview with a doctor talking about this exact topic. From the age of two, there are definitely no nutritional benefits to breastfeeding a child. Um, the world oh, okay. So case closed. But I don't know if I'd call him a child when he's 30 years old. But she keeps going. She says something in a second that's important. <laughs> be some slight benefits between the ages of one and two, mostly around immunity. Um, but from the age of two, there are no benefits nutritionally. Unlikely to be any harm either, although some studies have shown there might be a slight increased risk of dental decay because the way that the child lacks. Yeah, so it does help with the immune system a little bit from the ages of one to two, but science says that after the age of two, those benefits don't really exist. So it's definitely just a case of Alexander going and Googling benefits of breast milk and then seeing it also contains antibodies that help babies develop a strong immune system. Uh, gonna let me suck? Oh my God, I think I got strep throat. Mind if I just... Alex? 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 But yeah, because Google says it helps a little bit with the immune system. They're just believing it still has those effects once you're a grown adult. By the way, dude, if it's really about the immune system, I bet you get a lot more benefits from your mom's milk. Ugh! 
But first, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Milanote. I love Milanote, and ever since I've started using it, it is crucial to how I go about my creative process. It's so easy to learn, and you really have so much variation of what you can do with this. You can do anything that you want. Even if it's organizing your life or some work or school project, it has all the tools that really help somebody who's a little bit more creative-minded to create something to get what's in the head out somewhere where you can actually look at it. For instance, this is my home board, and if I want to make a new board, I just drag it, and it just locks right there. And then once I click on it, it opens up this blank board, but it gives you so many options of templates, so you're not just staring at a blank screen worried about how you're going to start. And I can just search through the templates, so if I want to make a mood board, I would just write in mood board, and it's got all these different options that you can choose from, and it shows you, like, look at this, this is amazing. And once you find something you like, you can click use this template, and it keeps everything in that place. So if you're worried about like, I don't know how I'm going to make it look pretty, they have so many templates that help you with that. And I'm telling you, the way that they work with images is so great, because you can just click upload and upload your pictures. And then from there, it pops up over here and you can just drag it onto where the template was. And just like that, something that started as a template from Milanote turned into something that is unique to me. And it's so easy and fun. And by the way, if you don't want to use a template, you don't even have to. Like, look at this. Drag a board over here and I can just go with empty board. And then if I wanted to use those same pictures, but in my own way, I just drag them onto the board and they auto populate like that. The fact that Milanote handles images so well, that's what makes it my go-to. But beyond that, it has so much more depth. If you come over here, this is the mood board that I've actually been using. I just made this one. This isn't based off of a template, but that's just one of the ways that the boards can look like. Look at this one. This is so much more about notes and it's something that I wrote down to actually be able to use as a reference piece. So I was able to put my thoughts all out here in all of these different notes. And then look at this one, another completely different looking board. If you're collaborating and you want to share this stuff with other people, it's so easy. You just click share and then copy the link. And by the way, the craziest thing of all of this is Milanote is available for free with no time limit. You can just sign up for a free Milanote account using the link in my description. Just use the link in my description and try it out for free. There's no time limit. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Milano. Thank you, Milano. Thank you so much. Now back to the other stuff. But not everyone believes these benefits are worth it. You are sick, weird, disturbing. I don't know why they felt the need to publicize this in the media. Today, Alex is- No, I mean, by the way, yeah, why are you publicizing it in the media? Do whatever you want, but why are you boasting about it? I think it's the kind of thing that happens when you don't really have a discernible talent that you can market, but you want to be famous. So you're like, uh, I mean, he does breastfeed off of me. Yeah, let's make our entire persona and everybody that ever knows us in real life will only ever think of us as the breastfeeding couple. Yeah, let's do that for 168,000 followers on TikTok and an average of 1,000 views per video. That is so not worth putting this out there forever. Oh, man. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said 1,000 views per video. It's like 800. Oh, my God, dude, why would you post it for only this? Oh, God. I always wanted to breastfeed my children because I feel like breast milk is the best. And I love the bond that I have with all of my children. You want the rest of that? Let me get the rest of that right there. No! 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 Alex! Alex! No! No, Alex! She was talking and I was like, okay, I'm not going to use this in the video. She's just talking about how she likes breastfeeding her kid. Cut to bro going, <laughs> y'all going to finish that? <laughs> Mind if I get a fucking squeeze? <laughs> you gonna suck that thing dry young man mind if I pop in Alex that's insane I can't believe that greedy people during lunch be like mm, I'm kind of famished mind if I suck your dick <laughs> oh my god I originally started breastfeeding my husband Alex on a cruise years ago I forgot my breast pump and at the time I was currently breastfeeding my daughter Aria I mean there was no other way of getting the release of milk that I needed she gets engorged <laughs> okay the first time we've heard Alex start to talk, I just have to pause it because he just jumps out with the term engorged, right? Bro, it is so clear that you just have like some kind of fetish because to just pop out with it's so engorged. Oh my God. I've been on cruises before. I've been on three and I'm pretty sure that if you go to like the first aid place, they will have a breast pump. I'm pretty sure it's required for places like that. Like there's no way that was the only option. It was definitely a case of him hiding the breast pump at home and then him going, I have an answer. Oh, you don't have a breast pump, but you're feeling engorged. I could just, I could just, I could just, I could just. Alexander, you are a sick, sick man. Oh my God, this is so funny though. You're not actually sick. It's just funny. I don't have to keep saying that. You're right. Okay, let's keep going. We're all on the same page. She gets engorged and she has extra milk, extra lactation. It was actually recommended by his family member. And at the time I thought it was gross, but it ended up being the best thing. Uh, he practically saved my life, I like to say. <laughs> okay. 
Alexander's brother somewhere swooping in like a hero for Alexander because you know that Alexander wanted this. If you're throwing around words like engorged and you're still breastfeeding your wife, it's clearly not just because you had to help her. You're home now and you have a breast pump and yet you wrote a book called Milk in It because you love it so much. So clearly back then you loved it. So I got a hard time thinking that him and his brother didn't like have a conversation before and his brother was like, hey, man, I got you. Hey, Rachel, you should let my brother s s suck your milk out. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, okay, okay, let's keep going. Who I'm sweating. I went home. There was no more milk. My daughter was weaned off. And then when my son was born, it started up again. So, you know, I take care of business the way that I did before. No, Alexander, that's not taking care of business. Business. That's just pleasure, brother. There's no way that's business, man. He's like, we don't need to use that fancy schmancy old breast pump. Let me get it. Oh my God, Alexander, Alexander, Alexander. <laughs> I see a demon in your eyes, man. I see a demon when I look at you, dude. Oh, I love this guy. He is such a character. He's got one thing that he loves. <laughs> his breastfeeding is what? <laughs> like the thing that he's hyper fixated on. It's just breastfeeding. Oh my god, I got tears in my eyes. These people are so funny, man. Babe, I'm full. I hope you're thirsty. Let's do this. The benefits that I feel like I've experienced is I feel like I got clearer skin. I feel like. Uh... Shut the hell up, Alexander. By the way, I have to pause it because I'm not ready for what's about to happen when we come around that doorway. I do not want to see what's going on down there. The intro to that, babe, I'm full. I hope you're thirsty. And him just going. Hey, let's do this. Oh, oh my God. Imagine being the people who were filming this. Like, you know what you signed up for that day. You know that you're going to this house. You know the set list. And then it gets to the point in the shot list where it's like, wide shot. Truck right past doorway, pan left to reveal Alexander breastfeeding from his wife. And when you hear the pitch of the video that you're filming, you're like, all right, yeah, that's the shot. Obviously we get it. But then you're on set and then you have this guy breastfeeding from his wife on the other side of the doorway and you're operating the camera like, dude, I really, really, really should have been an accountant. My parents were right. I should have gone into computer programming, dude. I feel like uh, it's helped my immune system. I haven't really gotten sick in the past. Three years. I feel like it clears my mind, you know what I'm saying? More of like a, a meditation thing. <laughs> That's not meditation. He's so funny. That's not meditation. <laughs> this shot right here is out of this world. This is a meditation for me. It's my skincare. It helps my immune system. Brother, take a vitamin C shot and get out of your wife's chest. <laughs> oh my God. What is he doing? He is fully sitting at an obtuse angle. Just getting in there. It's a meditation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about clear skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about the immune system. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, sure, sure. And it's just the system who's telling people not to do this. If there were actually all these benefits, then people would actually do them, you know? Ooh, but it's just the kind of people who think that like they're smart. So when they hear something, they're just like a perfect example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Cause they find out, oh, breast milk is good for the immune system. That's here. And they stop learning here. Cause if they do one more Google search, they'll be where I am, which is here. And that those benefits are not really existent beyond the age of two. Now, maybe if I learned a lot more, I could find out, well, there are some slight benefits, but I don't know if when I get to the expert level, I'm gonna be thinking, I'm gonna have a baby just so I can breastfeed from my wife. Oh my God, and that's what these people are doing. This is great. Is it a fetish? It is not a fetish. A lot of people think it's a fetish, but it doesn't lead to anything sexual. He just likes my milk, just how some people like, you know, cow's milk. <laughs> Alexander, Alexander, Alexander. The way he's sitting there like, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's not a fetish at all. Except for in my mind where I'm going because of how much I like it so much. Cow's milk. He just likes my personal milk. Feel better? Okay, yeah, you did her a favor there. Feel better? You feel better, Alexander? Oh my God. She has a breast pump. She has one. She could use it right now. Oh my God, it's hot in here. I'm laughing too much. Right now, we both are content creators and um, I'm a musician, so I make music. Milk. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
He's a musician who makes music about breastfeeding from his wife as an adult. I am going to listen to his entire discography and nothing else. I made a song called Milk Flow. It was just me saying, we just doing us, you know what I mean? We was just dancing around. No, you're not just doing you. You're not just dancing around. You're dressed in all black with a cup of milk talking about breastfeeding from your wife. This is not, okay. I was gonna say this is not what music should be about, but actually I'm so glad that he makes music about this. And I'm so glad that it's just milk flow. Yeah, I'm all about that milk flow. Hey, listen, he needed the milk, mom. He needed the energy. I needed the milk, mom. I needed some energy. You see me a little bit of it? They see me getting litty lately. Oh yeah, they say they want to smoke, but yeah, let me demonstrate it. I'm Savion tap dancing on a real hater. Oh, they really see me now. Yeah, they see me later. Steve Harvey know the vibes. Yeah, really. I'm like, ah, man, I messed up. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, the cameras were on. He got nervous. He just doesn't have it, though. But that's okay. He doesn't need it because he has all that he actually apparently needs, which is just breast milk from his wife. Oh, man. Also, funny because the producers were definitely expecting him to sing something from the song that's about breast milk since it's about breastfeeding your husband. And he just starts going, Yeah, I'm Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> is that something I know about Steve Harvey? Oh my god, is that what his mustache is made of? He's got a chocolate milk mustache? Oh no! Steve Harvey somewhere like, show me penis! Oh my lord. Oh no! We decided to share that we breastfeed online. I mean, it wasn't really a thought. I was already doing YouTube and documenting my everyday life. So sharing it didn't feel any different. Obviously, we got a lot of attention for it. It just mm -hmm. comes with the nature of telling your story. Yeah. <laughs> telling your story. Yeah, we get a lot of hate just because, you know, when anybody tells their story, they get hate. Not really, man. I don't think anybody should be sending them hate, obviously. If anybody's, like, actually upset with them for doing this, you need to get offline and touch grass because it's fine. Like, who gives a shit? They're clearly both in the same boat, like, doing it. Like, who cares? If you're going to hyperanalyze it and be like, oh, like, it's fine. What are we going to say? They shouldn't be allowed to do it? Who gives a shit? Funny as hell. So, like, the people who send them hate, get a life. But there's a part of me that wonders, are they calling it hate when somebody says, hey, that thing that you're talking about publicly that's very weird and abnormal and obviously strange, that's very weird, abnormal, and obviously strange. If they're calling that hate, then you gotta kinda have a little bit of perspective of if you're gonna do something like this, obviously people are just gonna like laugh at it and call it weird. Oh my God, like there was that guy who uh, I made a video about like a year ago who like has a bunch of dolls, like dolls, like fully women silicone dolls. And he sent me a DM on Twitter. I think it'd be really disrespectful to show the DM, but basically he was like, I can't believe you'd make a video about this. And I'm like, you're like publicly posting and open about how you have like five dolls. <laughs> like there's like videos where you're talking about to like, obviously people are gonna think that's weird. I just think there's a difference between hate and negativity and finding something funny and weird. But I feel like Alex and Rachel know what they're doing is funny because like making songs about it, writing a book, like they know that they're funny, I think. So honestly, all jokes aside, I really rock with them. Now let's get into the rest of it because it's insane. So I, I feel like that's positive. Um, people speak and troll and hate on us about it, but that just is what it is. It's, it's a part of the game. So you are sick, weird, disturbing. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean, saying it's sick, weird, and disturbing is, uh, I mean, I don't know, man, because you're a sick man for doing it, but in a funny way. I, if you're putting a tone of like, but also the video is you going, give it to me. Talking about breastfeeding your wife from your wife. I don't think she could get any milk from him. I don't like that sentence. Oh my God. I'm too comfortable online. I don't know why they felt the need to publicize this in the media. I'm starting to go back on my stance of like, oh man, this is weird. This, oh man, that video of you like with your kid being like, nah, leave some for me. What? <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't publicize that. You shouldn't post that online. That is weird. That is kind of sick. And it is disgusting. Like for somebody to see that, those are all like valid reactions to have. Oh my God. Because when you say it's for my clear skin and meditation, I'm like, yeah, sure. Sure. But then there's a clip of you going, leave a little bit for me, son. Hey, let me get in there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, 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 back up. Do not film that. Don't do that and definitely don't post it. Oh no. Seems like a sort of foreplay to me. Breastfeeding a grown man, disgusting. Where was your child that she is supposed to feed? Which, that's another common one and it's, he feeds first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex is just there to finish the job, guys. Come on, let's not send any hate. The kids get the milk first. Alex just pops in. He's the closer. He comes out like LeBron with the chalk. <sighs> 
I see what they're saying though. Like people are sending them hate, but also a little bit, I can understand what all of these comments are talking about. Now that I've seen that video that they just showed in the video that these people are commenting on, like I kind of get it, honestly. This one's one of my favorites too. Sick <laughs> And we got a good one. Here's a good one at the end. I, I bet one. his, and that's crazy. This one got the most likes. I bet his immune system is untouchable. I agree. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I don't think they're doing anything worth cussing them out for, but I bet his immune system is great. It's not. Like the whole point of the immune system being built between one and two for breast milk. By the way, I'm talking completely out of my ass from what I think is true. I'm going to look it up and verify in a second. But I'm pretty sure it's specifically because it's your mother's milk and you were like in the womb and you were like in her womb and you're picking up things that like, well, she has an immune system for these things and you're from her. So it'll, I think, is that true? Okay, here we go. Sorry, this is from a, uh, the National Library of Medicine. So this is like kind of, we're reading like an actual study about it, like with a whole abstract and everything. So anyways, it says in humans, the prenatal life, 280 days together with the following two years outside of the womb, 730 days, encompass the first 1000 days, which define a physiologically plastic and vulnerable time window where adverse health outcomes that may affect life in the future are programmed. So it's basically saying that in the womb and in the two years following the womb, you're like physiological state, like what you are, what you were made up of is like programmed for things that will affect the rest of your life. So what they're saying here is that they're going to focus on breast milk as a source of bioactive molecules that provide immune and healthy microbial gut colonization in the newborns. What's interesting is that the following sentence says in a parallel scenario, we will provide compelling experimental evidence confirming that maternal exposure to energy dense foods alter the immunogenic composition of breast milk and affect the microbiota in the newborn. Basically what this study is doing, what it's talking about from what I can get from it, it's talking about the pregnancy and then two years after the pregnancy, what that baby is being fed is like very crucial to its like physiological state, its immune system and everything for the rest of its life. So right away, check off the only two years, not the rest of the life, isn't actually helping with your immune system when you're 30, but then also factor in, they're talking about a consistency from pregnancy to breastfeeding. And that consistency really only factors in somebody who like gives birth and then is with that kid. So it doesn't factor in like adoption or the mom passing away or anything like that. So even if you think Think that it can help your immune system after that plastic state of your physiological form, even if you can gaslight yourself into thinking that it actually helps your immune system when you're 30 years old, you're really only gonna get those benefits if it's your mom. That's my understanding of reading this stuff. So I would say that I'm about here. So I really feel like I could be very wrong about this and I could not know. So anybody on this side, feel free to fill me in on the comment section. But all I know is that I'm here and y'all are here and I know that y'all are definitely wrong, definitely wrong. Hey, but there's nothing wrong with being wrong. If you wanna suck breast milk and you both want you, like, I guess, go for it. But yeah, it is gonna be weird if you post about it on TikTok. Keep going though. <laughs> I do not breastfeed in front of my children. I think it's just between me and my husband, so it's something that we keep private. Uh I mean, you did just film a video where your husband is saying to your son, you gonna finish that? <laughs> So you're lying like yeah, it, it would be very weird if that happened, but we have seen it happen So saying it doesn't happen doesn't make it not exist when we just saw it happen You know what I mean? Uh, but they introduce the kids whatever. It's not really that important Their youngest kid is two years old, which is generally when people stop breastfeeding which You might think is like a sign that okay, maybe I just shouldn't be breastfeeding anymore I guess I should just give it up or Actually, what if we got her pregnant again so I could keep breastfeeding? Which path do you think Alexander is going to take here? <laughs> It's not that hard. The producers though ask a very interesting question because I think we're all kind of considering the same question right now. How do these kids feel about their dad breastfeed? Like what? Producers ask. So let's see what they say. Do you think that this could impact your kids in the future if they see it online? I, I don't believe it would impact them so. in the future. If this is going to impact them on their future, I believe it would be in a very positive way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He is scrambling saying anything he can to keep that breast milk in his life. Because <laughs> obviously if the answer was no, he just wouldn't do it. But I don't think that the answer is, if anything, it's going to be positive. Listen, Alexander, I don't know what your relationship is like with your mother, but you've got a little bit of a Homelander situation going on right now, which I don't know if you watch the boys, but that is a uh, mommy issues. Now, I don't want to assume that you have mommy issues, but you are a 30 year old man breastfeeding from your partner because you like it so much. So I got to think you got a little bit of Oedipus in you. Do you have a little bit of Oedipus in you? When I said that you should breastfeed from your mom, that's mean, that's mean, that's mean, that's mean. But it is a little Oedipus-y, man. It is. You're breastfeeding from your freaking wife. They're going to learn from it and they're going to milk the situation. I 
Hey guys. They're gonna learn from it and they're gonna milk the situation. Really great one-liner, Alex. I don't think it's gonna be good for your kids. I think that it's gonna be a very weird thing that all throughout the rest of their lives. Yeah, my dad did breastfeed from my mom. Yeah. Two truths and a lie. That's gonna go crazy for two truths and a lie. Now, at this point of the video, they bring in Alexander's sister so that she can have a little bit of a dialogue with them. And we can see somebody with hopefully a perspective more similar to ours in this situation talking to them. And she's gonna cook us some meals off of her food truck. I hope y'all didn't eat yet. No, no, no we're ready, we're ready. When she first heard about me and Rachel <laughs> doing this breastfeeding stuff, it was one of those things that she didn't understand. She's not super against it, but she's like against it. She didn't understand it. I don't think that there's any way that you can explain it that is gonna make somebody like approve of it unless they already think that or are also on the same Dunning-Kruger scale as you on the ignorant side. Cause that's your sister. How do you have that conversation with your sister? Well, I guess we'll see. What the hell am I talking about? Oh no. When you guys told me about the breastfeeding thing, it, it's just, you almost wonder, am I related to Alexander? <laughs> How did you feel when you saw us do it? Oh, disgusting. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If I saw my brother doing this, like you can never look at them the same way again. Like imagine you find that out or your girlfriend is breastfeeding her boyfriend or girlfriend, shout out lesbians, shout out sapphic. Anyways, you find out anybody's breastfeeding from anybody and you're above the age of two. It's like a little bit crazy. Dude, I remember I used to go to school with a kid who in first grade was still getting breastfed. Oh my God. If in first grade, you're all looking at him weird. Like, yeah, you're gonna be looked at weird when you're 30. But like this is what it is. She's saying it's disgusting, but she's laughing. So that's that's how I feel about it. Like, it's disgusting. Ha ha ha. It's not disgusting. Like, <laughs> I, like he, oh my God, Alexander's my brother. So, oh my God, so well, I, and I still feel disgusted. So <laughs> I appreciate if you do not do it around me. Exactly. Hey, breastfeed wherever you want. I just don't want to see it when it's a man who's on that blue blue. For some reason, I felt like YouTube wouldn't let me say it, but I can definitely say it. Boob. I'm one of the bravest people on YouTube. I'll fucking go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the copyright system. Boob and breast. Volvo. What am I assuming? I'm sorry, let's keep going. Oh no! I still love y'all. I'm not knocking it. It's just not for me. Could you have imagined ever breastfeeding your partner? <laughs> <laughs> I've never considered feeding my husband up. No, that's funny because they're all laughing. They're all laughing. They're having a good time. But it is, you know, an undercurrent of why the fuck is Alexander breastfeeding from his wife that everybody other than those two are thinking. Like the producers, these two women, the urethra in the back. And if my partner came to me and, you know, say, hey, you know what? Your brother's doing it, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I'm gonna tell him go find Rachel. <laughs> go find Rachel is crazy. She said, hey, that's fine for y'all. Couldn't be me. Hey, Rachel, you might do that. I wouldn't. Because also, yeah, Rachel could totally say no. Like she seems to also think that it's fine. It's not like Alexander is taking advantage of Rachel. That's why this one's funny. Cause it's like, it's not bad what they're doing, but it's so weird. You say don't knock it till you try it. Um, it's your thing. I personally wouldn't do it, but. Okay. You know, um, understandable. Sometimes I'm scared for y'all, right? When I when I see people just you know be nasty in the comments, but I know that you guys are built for it, right? Okay, I know. Like she's saying whatever she's saying. All I'm thinking about is the cameraman right there, thinking he was doing a sick ass shot. He's like, okay, let me go across her head in the foreground, panning over, revealing. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Two heads on each side of the frame, framing the center focus. Got it. Okay, and and gold. But as she was saying in that cinematography award winning clip, they're built for it. Yeah, if you're posting about breastfeeding your husband online and you keep posting about it, that is a decision that you are making where you are just okay with people talking about it. And that's fine. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I think what you're putting out there is a lot. A lot, a little bit too much and... But we always have fun. We yeah, always yeah. come together and as have each one. That's great though. I love this because Alexander's sister is actually being 100% honest. She's not sugarcoating it at all. She's calling it for what it is and how she feels. By the way, earlier on, they said that she like runs a food truck, like she's coming to cook her food or something. And her accent, I think she's Jamaican. One thing I wanted to say is Jamaican people will fuck up a food truck. If you ever see a food truck and it's Jamaican food in there, trust me, it's about to be the best food you've ever had in your entire life. Jamaican food trucks, I don't know what is going on. It's like the best type of food to be made in a food truck. I guess every time I see it and I get it, it's better than anything I've ever had. Shout out Jamaica, shout out <laughs> shout out someone. No, 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 no. Usain Bolt, I think. Wait, uh, do we like Usain Bolt? He's fast. Crab aioli. Easy. I have got truffle chicken. Mm. 
sweet. I hope it doesn't interfere with your stomach. You may have to get some breast milk when you're done, right? Oh my god, she's funny. Oh my god. That looks good as hell though. I would love a plate of that. Can I have a plate? Please? Jamaica, please. I will do anything. May I please have a plate? Matthew is getting weaned off the breast milk. It's breastfeeding stopping soon. The way I feel about it is it's, it's like a bittersweet moment. Okay, well, Alex. It's bittersweet. It's bitter because I'm not going to be getting my wife's sweet milk anymore, but it's sweet because I still get some of my wife's sweet milk right now. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, he's definitely about to say, well, I'm going to try for another though because I got to get back on that wagon. You got to reminisce on the milk because soon it'll be gone. It's going to be dry. I'm going to be sad. It's dry. It's gonna... Alexander's sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> Now for a little bit of closure, there was an article that was written recently where the title, it's about this topic. The title says, I'm a mom who breastfed my husband. Now we want a fourth child so he can do it again. In the article, they include this incredible picture. Oh my God, this is exactly what the entire situation is. Alexander, please. But they said they considered having a fourth child so they can get their breastfeeding experience back, but ultimately decided they should look for other ways to bond. They made a mature decision. Honestly, round of applause for Alexander and Rachel. They were in a very odd, weird situation, but they had the mature response of, uh, maybe I shouldn't be breastfeeding my husband. Maybe I shouldn't be looking at my wife trying to get some milk out of that. They go on to say, we realized that was drastic action to take and a lot of work. So instead we began looking for other ways that we could bond as a couple, Rachel admitted. That's very sweet. It's honestly sweet. I think that there are people who were just a little bit misinformed and had a little bit of a demon in them, but they were like trying to justify it. Like it's not a little bit of a because it's gotta be a little bit of that. To be honestly like still doing it, you have a breast milk. Like, come on. You can't lie to me, Alexander. But it's honestly kind of sweet that they were like, you know what, let's find other ways to bond. I can't emphasize this enough. You can do all that stuff without there being milk on the inside. <laughs> like it's still a boob, you can still do that. There's just not gonna be milk that's coming out, which, you know, that's the weird part, brother. Man, I love Alexander and Rachel, I think. It was a little bit weird seeing that video of them like around the kids saying, let me in, save some, please. But I don't wanna judge them off of that one clip. It just seems like they're people who were a little bit misinformed by Google and the demon inside them and got hit over the head with a Dunning-Kruger effect. But I'm just glad they did it because that was one of my favorite videos I've ever reacted to. I don't know if I've ever laughed that hard making a video. I hope you guys like this one as much as I did. Please subscribe. It's fun because I feel like recently it's been just so much like horrible, horrible stuff that I've been like making videos about. And I'm like, you think I love to make videos about that type of stuff? No, but it is also important to make videos about those types of things. I will say though, stuff like this occasionally is such a breath of fresh air. I love it. And if you want just stuff that's just funny, silly vibes like this, my second channel has just that. It's all fun all the time, except for the dress to impress video where I did something to Princess Diana that I can only describe as my greatest human regret.